Hello, welcome to another video by LSX Engines, Tuning, and Marine. This is part two in my video series on how to convert a uh, Thunderbolt technician to a Delco EST distributor system. Um, so what I'm showing here is the uh, parts that, have, that I recently purchased, and those are the distributor and the ignition coil. And the, uh, the ignition coil came um, without the bracket mounted. I was a little disappointed in that. The picture showed that the bracket was already mounted, but it came it comes separate in a bag and I have to mount it myself so it's not a big deal but uh, it's a lot of disappointing that so one thing I want to make clear <coughs> excuse me is um this distributor um, is part GM or GM part number 1103993 there are no markings on this distributor that it's marine use uh, no SAE number no no nothing that says it's for marine and I raise that, I bring that up because it's very important that you use a marine distributor. And I say that not because of the rest of it, because of the module. This module, a lot of people think just because the modules look the same, that they are, have the same function. That's not true. These modules are used in uh, Chevrolet trucks from about 1987 up to 1995. And they're also used in the uh, IROC Z10 port injection up to 1992. Um, those car modules are not compatible, are not the same with marine and I'll explain that later uh, in a later uh, video in this series. But I just want to make, make the point that you just can't go buy a truck distributor. Like, for example, you get the same O'Reilly, the same distributor from O'Reilly's for about $130, $139. But it will not have the correct marine module. So you've got to get the right distributor to get the marine module. And I did look up that part number. This is a marine distributor. It doesn't say it on the distributor, but it is. All right. So... The two parts that I've purchased new are this part and the coil. And I have, if you look at part one of this series, you'll see that I have a link to a uh, Google Drive where I list all the parts you need. Now you can, be, you can either buy parts in a whole kit or you can buy the parts individually. I just so happen to have these three harnesses myself in some uh, stock of some of the work they used to do back in the 90s. So let's talk about that. So this harness here goes on the coil and it goes right here snaps on like this and it goes first then this this harness here goes on the coil also and it goes next it goes after the after the first one so it snaps on also just like that I'm just gonna get them both on here all right so now so these are two harnesses that go from onto the coil. So the rest of this harness, this harness here plugs into the distributor right there. Just like this. All right, so that harness is self-contained. Just plug it in here first, plug it in there, you're done. This, this connector here plugs on the coil, and I'll explain what these wires are in a minute. Then you get another connector, which is uh, you actually, in the, in the, if you get the kit, you'll get two of these connectors or two of these type plugs. This plug here doesn't have any wires or doesn't have any terminals or anything connected to it. And I'll explain what I'm gonna do with that in a minute. So let's go back to this. So when you put this coil in, your existing coil in your Thunderbolt system will have two wires going to the ignition coil. How positive it or minus, positive or negative. For the Mercruiser system, the positive is purple and the minus is gray. So you want to take your purple wire that's going to your coil and splice it in. I'm going to use but uh, I'm going to use a bullet connector so you can unplug them later. But, um, I'll attach the purple wire to this pink wire here, and that'll be for what's provided power to this coil. The white wire, I'm going to cut that black connector off, put a bullet connector on it, and that attaches to your gray wire at your coil. And that's what this is actually your tack signal. This that gray is spliced somewhere in the harness, and it goes back to your tachometer signal through the boat harness. It's on pin number two in your boat connector. So that's what runs your tachometer. This white wire is also internally wired in here to this white wire. And that's what I, this wire coming back from your module is what fires the coil and makes the spark happen. Obviously, spark plug wire goes right there. Your spark plug coil wire goes right there. So the pink wire is providing 12 volts positive to the module, and the white wire coming back is providing the firing signal to the coil. And that's pretty that's pretty simple there. So now let's talk about this connector. So I've got one connector here. If you buy the kit, you'll get two of these. One of them will be your, your uh, timing shunt. It's called the timing shunt harness or timing shunt uh, tool uh, by Volvo Penta. Um, it'll have, basically it'll have these two wires here. These two wires connected together as a loop. 
And then the third wire on this thing, uh, this third wire right here, to get it up, pick it up. So the third wire over will have an alligator clip on it. And this is a timing tool. So what you would do is you connect, when you plug this into the distributor like this, All right, so once that's connected in there and you connect the alligator clip to this third terminal, third wire, it's not the third wire, where's the third wire, right? There. So the alligator, alligator clip will be on this wire, you connect that to 12 volts. The first two wires will be looped together. You will now be in base timing mode. It will make the module, like I've, I've said, um, let me back up. I have a done a, I've done a previous, previous video on how GM fuel injection timing tool works. And I'll refer you to that video. I'll put a link in the uh, description of this video to that video. So I'll advise you to go read that for the details of what I'm talking about. But anyway, when you hook up 12 volts to this third wire, you will make the distributor be in base timing mode. And then you set your server, you set your timing with a timing light. All right, that's called the timing tool. Once you are done, you will take this loose. All right, as I was saying, this, this connector, you will get, two, if you buy the kit, the entire kit, you'll get two of these connect, kind of connectors. One of them will be your, your timing tool to have the alligator clip. The other one will be a connector like this with nothing but the third wire. It will not have the front, first two wires, it won't have the last wire, it'll have just this one wire, all right? That will be your shift kill harness. And that, that's what kills the ignition so that you can, uh, so that your shift kill works and uh, you can shift out of gears without the engine being loaded up. Um, I think I'll explain that later in this series. I don't want to go into a whole lot of detail about that now. But what I am going to say is that the reason I don't have the two connectors is I'm going to dual purpose this connector to do both the set timing function and the shift kill function. You don't need two of them. If you have the shift, if you have the uh, the timing tool, it's just something you're going to get just something to lose because it does it's not used. It's not ever connected to the boat until you're ready to set the timing. So. If you forget where you put it or you know like me have a lot of things going on and set it somewhere and don't remember you're gonna lose it so um, I'm gonna show you how to multi-purpose this one connector and make it both your shift heel and your set timing device and it's very easy so that's uh, all I want to say in this video I just want to show you the components um, of the uh, system you'll get again if you but you can buy the whole kit or I, what I did was I bought this coal and that distributor and I already had these harnesses um, from a prior uh, prior time working on fuel injection so that's it and um, hope this made sense and stay tuned for part three where I'm going to actually install the distributor in the cool and wire the system up thanks for watching